Hi, I wonder if you know much about the book of Genesis. 32,000 words, and there's some weird stuff in there. What's with all the polygamy? What about Abraham trying to change God's mind about destroying Sodom? And that's why over the next few weeks we've got some great preachers here at St Bart's that are going to help us as we work our way through the story of Abraham. But what about when you're at home and you're reading the Bible yourself? Is there any help? Well, yes, there is. We've got a great library here at St Bart's, and in that library we've got some books uh, and commentaries about the book of Genesis, and some of them are on the shelf right beside me. And uh, I'm going to whet your appetite by reading from one of them now. And this is uh, from a book called Faith of Our Fathers. And the writer is talking about uh, a section in Genesis where we don't find anything that happens to Abraham over a period of 16 years. And he talks about the unhurriedness of God, and this is what he says. What went on between the end of chapter 16 and the beginning of chapter 17? Not much divine razzle-dazzle, apparently. Most of the time was spent getting goat's milk for breakfast cereal, nursing sick lambs, getting over the flu, etc. Great swatches of covenant life are like that. Consists of grocery shopping, taking the car in for servicing, standing at copy machines, ferrying kids to music lessons, etc. Which begs the question, can you stand the ordinariness of the Christian life? God seldom sends fireworks, and because the God of the covenant is a bit strange like that, you have to ask yourself, can I be content with placing one foot in front of the other in the daily round? Isn't that now to earth? These commentaries we've got are relevant, they're readable, and they're engaging, and you can come into the library and check them out today.